Welcome all. This is the first video that I've done for Inside Out Waterfall for my channel. Uh, the point of the channel is to find the best you that you can be and better yourself through knowledge and uh, the experiences I've had. Um, hopefully I can share some insight on things and for each video I want to talk about um, how to become a better person, uh, how to become better socially, uh, and try to understand this thing we call life. I, I, I'm not sure that we ever truly will, but there are ways that we can approach it that will give us a better way to manage our lives and relationships and the different aspects of our lives. So what I've done is I've pulled a chart from the internet. It is uh, the aspects of life. And I kind of want to run through each of these today because I found that if you can raise the standard of each of these aspects of your life, you create a better, uh, a better life for yourself and the people around you. And I believe we're all connected through a web and everything we do has a consequence for everyone that's connected through our web. So I think it's very important to make ourselves the best version possible. I think that's a very, that's really what we're getting at. What can you do in your life to maximize the effect of gratitude for the things you already have and the people around you and the relationships? So as far as me, um, as far as my, my journey so far, um, I've found that one of my hurdles was uh, the finances. Uh, I was in debt for, it's, well, it's been 12 years, and I recently just paid off my, all my credit cards, all my student loans from college, everything. So at this point right now, I owe no money to anyone. I'm not in debt to anyone. Um, at this moment right now. So, and I, I don't plan on ever using credit again. Um, I think there are so many aspects to that being in debt to somebody that can hold you back in your life for something that you truly believe you need to do. For me, it's music inside. I feel like I need to do music and that's what I went to college for. And I, I don't think I've, I don't feel I've truly tried to pursue that in my life yet. So as far as finances goes, I think being out of debt is a, is a very important part of uh, becoming a better version of yourself and being able to uh, support those around you, your family. I mean, wouldn't it be awesome if you could just, you know, pay off your parents' house or if they already have it paid off, I mean, give them a vacation. I mean, that's really, that, that could be a goal. That could be a goal that you could have that you could actually attain. And that leads to another, the, the family relationship side of things. Um, we can jump to that uh, bubble, that circle. And I feel if you have your act together, if you can get things done in your life and manage your house, manage um if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, if you can manage that relationship, which we'll get into in a minute, um, and you have everything in your life order in, in order and you're honest and truthful and you don't lie about things and you really want to elevate yourself, the web of people that you have that are connected to you, will they will feel that on some level. There will be some effects to that that you cannot grasp at this moment and uh one of the phrases i'll be i'll be quoting a lot of uh or paraphrasing quoting a lot of people that i've uh, uh been watching online um there's david ick he said some great things jordan b peterson um uh mark uh Pasio, i think that's how you pronounce his name there's tons of people online that i've been watching for for years and uh recently the past six months and year where i've i've picked up on a lot of little nuggets of uh, 
of knowledge. And I've started writing them down in a notebook. I have it right next to my computer. So finances, family, and relationship. If there's somebody in your in your web of family that's struggling and you don't have everything together yourself, the only way that you can truly get them and elevate them to a point where the whole family unit is functioning properly, whatever that is for you, at least being not like self detrimental and, and uh, harmful to themselves. It's to kind of show an example, set an example for it. So I'm going to kind of touch on just each one of these and not go into depth too much on this video, just kind of give you an overall view of how I see each of these things. And in future videos, I'll kind of dive a little bit deeper into them and um, hopefully share knowledge with you guys because that's the whole point of this. I just, I think, I think we're all one and we do have infinite consciousness like David Ickes has said. Um, so it's, it's very important that we all try to, to strive to be the, be the best version of ourselves and uh, do the things that we really need to. So moving on with family and relationship, um, we could go to business. That's a good one right there. Uh, for me, I've started a business after I got out of college. I worked some really, it's like a, I made sandwiches and things like that. And during college, I worked at a restaurant. Um, and I think it was good experience. That's really good experience to uh, tell you kind of like what the, the worth of a dollar is or the worth of whatever uh, fiat you have, whatever currency. Um. And that kind of led to why I wanted to start my own business. And I can get into the details of that in another video. But I think it's important to find, if you can find something, the ultimate goal I think is to find something that you feel inside that you truly love. And for me that's music. And be able to find a way to be able to generate income with that while increasing the value of other people's lives. And what I'm doing right now, I do, I do music, but it's not my primary income. And what I do, I, I do I am passionate about for, with my business, but it's not 100% what I feel inside. So if you can find something, you might have to do some soul searching or it may have been there your entire life like how it has been with me. I've always known I wanted to do music ever since I was a first thoughts when I first had uh, instruments in my I, my grasp. So whatever that is for you, if it's working out, if it's uh, if it's trying to encourage people to do, you know, like as a life coach or if it's, you know, IT or you know, cutting cutting edge technology or if it's, you know, you want to be a stay at home mom and you feel that is what you're best at, you know, the, anything you can think of, it's something you feel inside that always comes back. Even if you venture off into another, uh, another, uh, business or another avenue that you think will gener generate income that you think you'd love. And then you, after that fails or after you don't want to do it anymore, or after it grows sour, you always go back to this one thing. And for me, it's music and I know I need to do that. And so this is why it's important to get your finances in order and get everything in order, get your relationships, you know, raise the standard of your relationships. So yeah, as far as business, that's kind of where I've been with that. Um, and I, I can dive into that on another video, like I, I will with every other bubble, the health and fitness. I, when I was younger, I did have a six pack for, I think it was maybe maybe three months, three, four months when I was in high school. And ever since then, you know how they say that, the, I think it's a freshman 15. Yeah, it was freshman 15 and it just kept going and going and going. And this year, I think it was, it, it might've been at the end of last year or the first of this year, 2018, I stepped on the scale and I did not like what I, what I saw. It was bad. It was the highest weight I have ever been. Um, and my heart started hurting. I started feeling a little bit of like my, maybe arteries were clogged or something. I went on a binge of Postmates at the, the I think it was in, was it March or May? And I looked at how much I spent on Postmates having that delivered while I was working and not being happy with 
just not getting things in order and not being responsible. And I could not believe the amount of money I spent on that. Um, and one day I just woke up from it. I started educating myself online, kind of like what I'm trying to do right now to, to help you guys. You know, I, I just, this is, I feel it's important for other people in my situation. I'm, I'm 30 years old and I, I wish I could have learned this when I was, you know, 23, 24, but that's kind of, that's life. You know, you pass the knowledge on to other people and hopefully they can get a head start on it and get things going. Um, so as far as the education and career that I, I went to college for two years, uh, that was, I, I don't necessarily think everyone needs to go to college. I think if you know what you want to do, you can educate yourself about that. And I do think there may be some, there's positive aspects to college. Uh, and there's negative ones too. Is I mean, mainly it's the the monetary thing. If everybody could go to if everyone could go to college, and their parents save for them, I think it's a five twenty one C. I think that's what it's called. I'd have to check again. Um, it, when you start saving for your kids and it's tax free once once you make income. I don't have any kids, but I'm just thinking about in the future. Um, any money you make, you can put in this uh, this savings fund for your child and when they go to college they have that money available to them. So if you can save up money for your kids and plan for that for, you know, 18 years or even before they're born, just think of the head start that they will have if they decide to go to college, if you push them for that, if you you have nurtured them and found out like what they need to do in life would benefit from going to college. Um so I, that's a very, it's looking ahead, it's planning. And that kind of comes to uh, the top of this chart that you guys can see the personal thing, the planning. What are your goals? People, I'm sure you've heard about goals. I, you, you had to have heard about goals. Um, if you're not, if you don't put out your intent into the universe, and say what you're going to do and write it down. If you don't do that, things will not come to you. You the, the, the opportunities and the frequencies of how people perceive what you want will not come your way. So we have to have a very clear goal. And this is something that it's, it's really, it's really uh, something I was struggling with. And I made a few goals and the things that needed to come into my life and the people I surrounded myself with for these small goals, like running a 5k, I did that. And the ideas popped in my, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to, of course, eat better. Well, how do I eat better? Okay. Well, maybe I buy organic food. Maybe that's one way to do it. Maybe I start cooking more instead of doing the Postmates thing and going to eat out and saying, okay, guys, yeah, let's, let's go, you know, taco Tuesday or something, or yeah, I'll eat out like seven times this week. It doesn't matter. And I'll go get a burrito in the morning. And, you know, with the good sauce and everything, it made me feel good. Or I thought it did, you know. And then I started cooking more at home. So the goals that we set have a vast amount. If they're good goals, if they're attainable goals, and we the short-term and long-term medium goals, we can talk about that later on other videos. If we set these type of goals up, it will improve other aspects of our life because it's a necessity to attain that goal. So the, the, the whole point is to raise the standards in all aspects in a, a gradual, consistent basis, a consistent way of, of improving all these aspects. Because what I found, if you spearhead one of these or if you push way outside of one, the other aspects of your life start to diminish or they'll, they'll stay the same or they'll start to diminish and your relationships will start to fail. They'll start to suffer. Your business might suffer if you're not focusing on that, if you're just doing too much of like the leisure and recreation aspect. And it's not a good thing. And I'm sure you've heard the work-life balance scenario before or the, the term and this is very important. It's something I didn't learn. I, when I was with other girlfriends, they would always say that. And they, uh, at their works, uh, in their careers, they would always tell them 
uh, the bosses in like the the betterment programs, they would say, you know, let's find a, a good work life balance. So you can have that good relationship at home or, or with with your husband or your wife or or whoever it is, you know, with your family and being able to do things all. And they're talking about all the aspects of life. And in this scenario, there's eight of them. There's other charts that have more. Uh, but these are the these are the fundamental uh, kind of overshadowing aspects of your life. So in the personal aspect, I think it's very important important to to set the goals of what you want to achieve. And it, I found it difficult because what do you want? What do you really want? I had to ask myself that, and I still I, I started trying to come up with these ideas. Oh, I want this like house that's like. $300,000 because I saw one when uh, going out doing my job and I, and I found this house and I thought it was really cool. The design of it, the location, the elevation of the house, just the, the whole setup. And I said, yeah, that would be nice to have that. And then I, it kind of faded away and I'm like, well, why did that fade away? I must not, must not really want that. And I, I don't think I do. I, at this point, I don't really want that. Like I think there's other aspects of the life that I need to bring up first before I start thinking about buying a $300,000 house on my own and, and paying cash for it. That was the other thing because I got out of debt. I, I don't want to get a mortgage. So that ties back to business. How am I going to raise the standard of making more money to get to a point where I, I pay cash for everything? The next car that I buy, it's going to be cash. It's not going to be credit. And everyone in my life, everyone that I can think of that I've talked to, oh, you got you to watch out for your credit score. You got to make sure you got to have a good credit score. And I've gotten so much advice. Oh, yeah, on your, your credit cards, you got to make sure you have like, you know, a balance on it, like 10% of your total amount that you can leverage or borrow. And, you know, you pay it off every month. Well, what I see is that's just a big game. It's just a, it's a big game with this negativity web that we can get into other videos when we actually zoom out of the entire situation. We can perceive these plans and these ideas that, that not everyone in society, depending on where you, which country you reside, has grasp on what they can, what they can actually grasp. Um, so I, the closest thing I could relate that to for right now without getting into, I do have notes on this, would be when an astronaut goes into space, when they get on a spaceship, they go into orbit, and they can see the entirety of Earth from that one perspective. Of course, they can't see you know behind the Earth from their, their perspective, but they see it all in one viewing in person. And what the astronauts have said when they come back to Earth, they feel a better understanding of their environment and of the people. And they, they, it's like they get it, you know, because you can see it all in one perspective, in one, one shot, one view. So that's the, that's the kind of point or the idea that we want to get to with all of these aspects in our life. And it, it goes even beyond that. Um, but we won't get into that right now. I just I, I want to introduce all these things to you and get your mind thinking about it, and ha and you can and go in and investigate other videos. And I can I'll put um, in the in the description I'll put some links or some people's names that I talk about, like the Jordan Peters Jordan B Peterson. He really helps with uh, you know improving yourself and just like thinking about relationships and questioning things and all that. Um, and so we can move on to the spiritual aspect. Spiritual aspect. For me, what has helped is the eating, the health and fitness kind of ties into uh, this close, closer than the other ones. Meditation, stretching, doing proper stretches. And that's something I found videos that I can share with you guys that really, really helped me. I mean, it just, the other day I was working on my computer and I had to, I felt like I was kind of white knuckling, you know, like just squeezing my, my fists or my, my fingers together and everything. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, oh yeah, I didn't stretch today. I didn't take that time in the morning, the 10, 20, 30 minutes, however long, wh whichever uh, routine you have set up for yourself. I didn't take that time and stretch and, and breathe deep way down. 
and I was feeling it while I was working, like all the, the stresses from the day just caught up, you know? So I think that's some kind of, it ties in with the health and fitness, but the spirituality of, of, uh, your consciousness, if you're religious, I, it, it, it's, it's a big topic right there. Like I, I, you could be, you know, a Christian, a Muslim, a Catholic. I think when we get down to it, I think what it is, it's all the same kind of like energy. I think that we all are one. We all have a consciousness. We, and we can, if we can tap into that and really become like one with ourselves, because I think we're all one together, then I really think that you'll elevate in the spirituality. If you do believe like in Jesus, Jesus Christ or, uh, Allah with like, uh, if you're like, a Muslim, you know, that you can, if that's what you really believe, we, you have to step back and look at it and say, why do I believe this? And this is another thing to question, question what you hear from this channel, from what I'm saying, question it and say, does this apply? Why am I, why is he saying this? Is this from his experiences? Well, yes, of course. Can you apply that to your situation and understand the, the the meaning behind it because I want to tell you guys things that will make you want to dive deeper into understanding what we are like who are you like if somebody comes up to, on the street and says like who are you what are you gonna say are you gonna say I'm I'm black a black human or I'm a black person that works at this I'm a white guy that works here like what what is what is your perception of yourself? And that's what you can get into with the personal and spiritual side of it. Like, what? how do you perceive yourself? Do you have preconceived notions, preconceived ideas? And for me, getting rid of those helps dramatically. I, I, I have these things pop in my head, like, how do these people see me? And it makes me act different than I think what is, like, inside my core or what I think... I want to accomplish in life or what I'm here to do, like why, why I'm here, you know, that's a big question. Why are we here? We don't know, but these, all these aspects help us understand. And, and it always goes back to, for me being kind in that, in the sense that there, there's this thing that Jordan B. Peterson talks about, which a lot of people know it's not just him, but he introduced it to me game theory and it's called tit for tat. So kind of going back and forth between two people, like giving someone the benefit of the doubt kind of thing, like in a business or if they have business dealings, if someone's running late to something and it's the first time you've, you're trying to do business with them or something, they're running late. The person that hired them could say, oh yeah, I get it. You know, that's the first time everybody has that, whatever, it's fine. So they're giving them a pass on it. Or they could say, well, since they messed up, I'm going to act angry and say, oh, never going to use them again. And it's done. It's completely done. And, we, and that's, the, that's the simple form of it. We can get into it more. I have notes on that as well. And there's some really good lectures that I've watched from, uh, I think it was Stanford. There's a, 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 a lecture series that I can put in when we get to the, the topic of like genetics and how all that relates to health and fitness and what's going on in the world. So, um, I can post those in, in other videos. Uh, with the leisure and recreation, I think that aspect ties in most with everything else. Because what we do in business, health and fitness, education, finances, all, all these different aspects, we will see things in there that other people will present to us that we may like. If you go to a family event, if you say you have, um, I didn't have a ton of family get togethers or anything. It was just kind of a, the close core family, but say you went to an event, uh, that the family members had set up and someone talks about, uh, paintball like, Oh yeah, I've heard about paintball. What is that? And they, they have their paintball gun or they have videos of them playing or something like that. That, that ties in with that. You're like, Oh, that's kind of cool. And if you respect that person, and they're saying it's a good workout and it's fun to do. We can all go together, you know, or run in, skin the endorphins going, good workout, good uh, 
family bonding, uh, just there, there's a lot of benefits to, you know, physical activity like that. So what I'm saying is in all these different aspects, we can learn from other people we have relationships with that will give us ideas for the leisure and recreation. Oh, let's make this meal on on Sunday uh, for like the barbecue. That would be cool. So I'm going to start getting into cooking because if I do that, then it's going to raise everybody up at the the barbecue, you know, like everybody's going to be, Oh yeah, you made a really good dish. Something like that, you know, or, or it can relate to what you feel personally. Like for me, it's music. So I have some music equipment and I play on the weekends. I play music out, you know, that's like, that's something that I have to do. Even if it wasn't a paid gig. If I wasn't getting paid to do it, I would still be searching for that. And that would still be something that when I woke up in the morning, which I have felt before, I want to like write songs. I want to, I want to get out of bed and do that. And I'm like wide awake. I wake up, I'm ready to go because it's so exciting when you create something, no matter what it is, any type of art, if you create an idea or you create like a new computer program or, or whatever you're into that has the ability to create and impress upon your own ideas and you start with a blank piece of paper or a blank uh, recording session or anything and then by the end of it you have something on there that you're really proud of there's something to that that makes you want to keep or continue to do that and share it with other people and that brings out it can bring out good in people so I'd highly suggest finding a hobby if you don't have one already and trying to find maybe a hobby that that relates to something inside of you that you've always felt, that you always come back to. So I think I'll wrap up the video now. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's gone. I just felt like kind of introducing this to people and hopefully you can take this video and videos that I post in the future about trying to better yourself um, and in everyone around you in your web and you can maybe listen to it while you're working on the computer and just having it go in the background. That's what I like to do with stuff. And then I have a notepad. Maybe get a notepad or a notebook um, with a pen next to it and just, just be able to jot down little things. If I say something that connects with you, and I'll try to throw out some uh, some good little phrases or nuggets of, of information where you can just write that down and remember it. And I, I have tons of stuff that I, I want to share with you guys. I, I may have given you guys a few things there that you can write down. I just wanted to hit on each of those right now and hopefully give you some ideas and know that you guys can do anything you set your mind to. Intent and focus, that's where the, the energy goes. It's like when someone's staring at you in a restaurant and you, you're like, man, I feel like somebody, you, you don't know, you're not looking at them directly, but you're like, I feel like somebody's staring at me and someone's really intently staring at you for some reason. They're like, noticing, I don't know, your shirt or jacket or shoes or something, or they're just looking at your haircut or whatever it is, and they're just staring. Well, they're, they're, they're sending energy over at you. So you're feeling that. So the intent that we have, the things that we're thinking about, the vibe that we give off to give, you know, just a, a simple term besides like energy and these electromagnetic fields that our body actually scientifically proven to give off, like we give off energy. I mean, we have like a little bubble around us kind of that we, we don't really see, but some people say they can. That interacts with other people. So whatever your mindset is, you guys can do it. And we'll talk about we'll talk about goals and things I've done and things that I've actually accomplished in some other videos. But as of right now, thank you guys for listening to the very first video of uh, Inside Out Waterfall. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, keep it real. Peace.